She's funny and feisty and the delightful diva and the creative force behind her online magazine that's filled with good advice, estrogen-induced rants, and unconditional love. Holly Pinafore is back with us today with a lesson in self-love. Welcome back. Thanks, Jocelyn. You're right about all the above. Oh, yes. <laughs> the ranting and the raving. You rant and rave we a do, lot? We do a lot of that there, but you know, it's a good release and it's fun. We want people to come to the website and have a good time and just be themselves. So okay. Today we're infusing love with food and we're going to start out with a glass slipper. Yes, we are. This glass slipper is actually, it's just a piece of plastic. And it's, it's a party favor that you would find in the, in the dollar store. What does this symbolize? So there's so many different things it symbolizes because so many women are obsessed with finding the right person. Find, they want a fairy tale. You know, but the most important relationship is really the one with yourself. And I know that sounds cliche, but until, well, you, love yourself until you have that self-love, mm -hmm. you're not going to attract the right person. So I have a few points that symbol that the glass slipper actually symbolizes and we're going to put that into what we're making today okay the first so, point you want to make is that it's transparent the glass slipper is transparent so what i wish for all of my friends and all the women watching is that you will be able to see through all the people that come into your life especially men that you will have a very good judgment a crystal clear judgment of the people that come into your life so that's the first important important point is that it's transparent absolutely all right mm -hmm. and the next thing is that it's also breakable. It's breakable. So tread lightly on the path of life. Don't take things too seriously. People are so, you know, they're, they're living um, a, a drama, like a, a, a battered woman drama in their head all the time. You know, and un unfortunately, it's just it's just not the reality and it's and they're they're trumping it to be something that they're it's almost not. desperate to find love right and they're they're desperate to find love and in the process they create drama and sadness be happy with who you are right now because if you're waiting until you find somebody to be happy with yourself if you're waiting to lose weight until you're happy with yourself you're really denying that you exist right now so just do it now. Be happy now, you know? <laughs> and the glass slipper only fits you and only you. It only fits you and only you. Remember Cinderella? I mean, yes. a lot of people oh, have that. Oh, stepsisters couldn't fit it. Right. A lot of people have that thing against fairy tales or this <laughs> or that. But you know what? It's true. It only fit that one person. So I wish for every woman that they they just kind of embrace their individuality. That's another point of that. All right, and you say no matter what happens, you'll always have the other slipper. Yes, if you remember in the cartoon, Cinderella's the, the stepmother or whatever, they, the slipper shattered, but she had the other one right in her pocket. So it's like, no matter what happens in your life, you always keep that part of yourself close to yourself so you always remember who you are basically all right well that's so, all great advice so let's start cooking for all the Cinderella's out there this is a pie a princess pie I'm telling okay. you so <laughs> I'm gonna let you help me with the ingredients absolutely what right? are we making again this is a cannoli filled pie cannoli and it's gluten pie. the shell is gluten free so you don't I mean if you have a gluten allergy a celiac disease it's perfect for you it's good um, for everybody it's really. actually good for everybody okay these are all high quality ingredients okay. the important part is that if you're going to cook fattening foods, and no food is, don't label a food with a moral quality. Have a little bit of it, enjoy it, savor it, and then you'll be, you won't feel so bad about it. Portion yourself. control is really key here. Exactly. Okay. So we're going with part skim regatta cheese, okay? So I am going to just pour some of it, this in here. How much are you putting in there? This is a tub of oh, part whole skim. Tub? Yep. It's okay. a one pound tub of regatta cheese. Okay. okay. So now... I'm going to turn this mixer on, and I'd like you to add, you know, which first we'll go with the mascarpone. Okay. Mascarpone is a is like I a, love a, this. Yeah, it's a very it's like smooth almond taste to mm -hmm. it, right? Yep. I'm going to just mix, start mixing this, How much and is add it about much? add about like a half a cup, half. as okay. much as you think. A half. We're going to watch it, and we're going to see how creamy it gets. Oops. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah, add a little bit more. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Here, let me turn stuck. it up. Okay, yeah, no, that's it. one thing. You don't want to chop your fingernails <laughs> off. Here, I okay. will... Um, yeah, let's switch yeah, it no, off and fine. put it in. That's fine. One thing I want to mention, too, yeah. before I turn the blender on again, is that the ricotta <laughs> cheese is lumpy on its own. So you want to add something to make it creamy. Okay. The mascarpone will help. And all we're right. going to add a little bit of heavy cream to that, all right? The last time milk. you want me to help you. <laughs> no, not at all. No, because I'm going to make you do your favorite. Whoa! <laughs> all right, I don't feel so bad. <laughs> 
a mess in my kitchen all the time. There you go. It's not a party in the kitchen until you start making a mess, all right? Okay. So we're going to speed that up, actually. We're going to get even more daring. Do you want more of this? I have it here. Let me just... Yeah. Pour the rest of the heavy cream in. Okay. You know, it's funny because usually you're wearing a white dress and you get red on it. Now I'm wearing a, a red dress and I'm going to get heavy cream all okay, over it. Okay, what else do we have to put So in? we're going to put about a cup of sugar. This is organic powdered sugar. All right, so all the ingredients, again, I'm mentioning they're high mm -hmm. quality. And next, um, to add to that, we're going to add vanilla bean, the vanilla bean pod. This is really, really... Um, and you can get this the, at the grocery store, Yeah, right? it's kind of, they're kind of expensive. This, is, this was about $2, but see the inside? Yes. Whenever you get ice cream with vanilla, um, those Beans, little specks in it, right. it's the vanilla bean. Okay. okay, and that gives it such amazing flavor. All Just right? a little bit of that? Just a little bit of that. It goes a really, really long way. Okay, we have about two minutes. We're going to whip this thing up. See how it's, um, you're going to see in a minute how it's forming a really, really creamy, thick Smooth consistency. consistency. Yep. Exactly. We're going. We're going for All right. it. <laughs> Everything else is blown it's away. Really fast now. <laughs> we're, we're basically whipping, we're whipping this like almost like whipped cream. All right. So you're going to see that it's very, very creamy. Let's get this out of here. All right, there you here go. we go. Okay. All right. Now. So we're going to fill the pie. Now, the okay. pie has a bunch of cracks in it, all right? This is all about imperfection. We made a mess in the kitchen. Our pie's got cracks <laughs> in it. What do you do? Fill it with chocolate. That's my solution. Fill There's all the cracks. always a way to fix it's a another problem excuse. in the kitchen. Exactly. Okay, so you just want to... So just, just Yeah, just kind okay. of blend, like let it kind of melt to the sides. Okay. We have about a minute. All right. We have, there's a pie already done over there, but I want to show you. I'm going to fill the inside of this pie, okay? Okay. With this creamy, oop, I'm slipping Oops. on the cream over here. With this creamy regatta and mascarpone mixture. Look how delicious that looks. And you can see the specks of vanilla in it, okay? So I'm going to let you fill that. Right. Fill that quickly. We have some tangerine zest, and we have some chocolate. And, of course, the glass slipper. Okay. All right, here we go. Some of these. Look at that. Oh, my oh. goodness. I can't, <laughs> I can't so wait good. to jump into that. You can zest, if you like tangerine zest, zest it up okay. and put it in there. All right. Toasted almonds. I think we've got everything in there. Strawberries, those are frozen. Okay. All right, now we are going to check back in with you later on on the show. Put the glass so slipper right in. on top. Okay, perfect. I'm throwing some more of these. I love it. Right, perfect. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around. We'll be back with.